she's absolutely huge. The question is, is that going to play in her favor or not? Um, so that back pose is ridiculous. The front pose is insane. She is, I would say, probably not even borderline physique. She should be in physique. Um, so the judges are either going to eat that up and love it, or they're going to punish her for it. The Arizona Pro is really one of the premier pro shows out there for women. It's a women's only show and carries a lot of prestige, largely due to the huge prize money handed out for women's bodybuilding, but it's definitely a target that a lot of women place on their calendar in other categories. And today we're checking out the action in the figure category, both open and masters 40 plus classes. Before we get to my commentary, don't forget to check out darrenstar.com, my newly relaunched website where I have my online courses built specifically for bodybuilders. Whether you're a competitor or aspiring to be one, if you wanna take your physique to the next level, you can check out what I have there. Okay, on to the commentary and then stick around for my recap and final thoughts on the results after that. Let's go. Oh God, I'm missing it. We there? Whew. Okay. <laughs> We're back. Figure. Masters. All right, we've got eight in this group. One of the unsung abilities of a judge is bladder control. We've done fitness, women's physique. We just did wellness. That was my limit. I had to make a trip. So um, the judges still at the panel. Kudos. Impressive. So these are just the initial comparisons here. There's gonna be eight in this class. So they just bring up the first four, quarter turns, dismiss, second four, quarter turns, dismiss, and then we'll see individual routines from all eight, and then they'll do call outs. So we got a couple of heavyweight hitters in this, uh, in this class here. For figure, what we're really looking for is V taper, shape, some good size, maybe what we'd consider to be a little bit of density, um, and uh, conditioning. Um, you can overdo it on those in figure, but you gotta really work to overdo it. Some crazy shapes just in this four lineup, this lineup of four here. Long way to come for this show. Raquel Clark, she was fourth in this competition last year. So one of the words that you will often hear associated with figure is streamlined. Like you wanna have a physique that kind of flows head to toe where everything just kind of logically makes sense. You don't see anything that looks out of place. Like in women's physique and bodybuilding, if you have body parts that look like they might be a little out of place, like a little overpowered, that could potentially be an asset. Um, in figure, not so much. Like this has very good flow. Like that back is great. You can see a little, little bit of separation in the glutes as well. You might find yourself a little bit undersized in this group, but that's a really good package. This is Sandra Clark. I do believe also that everybody in this master's category is also doing open. So she's a little softer, a little undersized. There's nothing that really stands out. You wanna see, you know, I'm, I'm looking for like, okay, do we have that taper? Taper's there. I'd love to see the delts just a little bit more prominent up on top. Leg size needs to come up. I think from the from the waist up, I like her shape, I like her proportion. Love to see the legs just a little bit more dominant. Marlon Gonzalez here. That's kind of what I would call a prototypical figure shape. Um, these days you see a lot of shapes that are a lot more extreme than that. And those are typically gonna be the shapes that win shows, but this is much more of like a classic look. Like you've got the, the men who have classic physique kind of hearkening back to old school bodybuilding days. If the women ever did a classic figure look back to like how things looked in the early 2000s, et cetera, this is the blueprint. This is what it would be. Corey Morales. So she did Tampa earlier this year in masters, took third in her masters class. She won this show two years ago, won the masters category. That is, she took third in the open two years ago, which is very impressive also. Really good, really good shape here. Good shape, good flow, good conditioning. She's a little tighter from the front than she is from the back, just a little bit. Jessica Reyes Padilla, I think is how I would say it. Um, so she, uh, what'd she do? Well, I mean, she won uh, Texas in the open category two weeks ago. Uh, so there's that. So she would be the favorite here, I think. 
So if Marlon Gonzalez has kind of like the prototypical classic figure look, Jessica here is more of the prototypical modern figure look, where everything's a little bit more exaggerated. Quads are a little bit sharper. Delts are a little bit bigger. Just a little bit more cannonball-esque. Um, conditioning is sharper overall. She's a little shaky. But again, just like really, really good flow top to bottom. For my taste, her posing is a little slow. I'd like to see her pick it up a little bit and go through some more poses here. She just looks a little shaky. But the shape, conditioning, size, symmetry, it like, it's shut up. It, it's awesome. Francis Shannon. She is what is colloquially known as a big girl. Um, like, I don't know how tall she is, but she looks very tall and really wide clavicle, like a lot of size on her frame. Um, I don't mean that in a negative way at all. I'd love to see her just a little bit more conditioned, um, but as far as just like raw size and structure, she's like among the biggest in this group that we've seen. Like just really, really impressive, what would you say, construction overall, really good. Sarah Tashner, she was the one in the first, um, uh, in the individual comparisons that I thought looked probably about the sharpest on stage. Um, this is probably closer to what I would say is like women's physique level conditioning, and that might knock her down a little bit. We'll see what the judges like. So far, what I've seen in other categories is they're not really putting as much of an emphasis on conditioning as I would. That would hurt her, if that's the case here, because she is peeled to the fucking bone. Which... As far as I'm concerned, it's a bodybuilding show. That should be the goal, right? But um, judging standards are what they are. So I want to see her land in that pose. Like, it doesn't really look like she actually finished getting into that pose. Like, I'd want to see a little bit more width because I know that she can bring out a little bit more than that. But, like, her upper body in particular is just shredded. Uh, Osiris Trump? Trumpy? Trump A? Don't know. Um, no relation, I assume. Um, so she won this show, uh, masters last year, um, took second in masters in this show the year before that. Um, and you can see why, like she's impressive as fuck. Um, really good. I'd say if you compare her to Jessica, I think it's really like, you know, I'd want to see everybody, but I think it's the two of them realistically. I think Jessica had just a little bit more flow, a little tighter midsection. Um, but love to see a different angle from behind would be good. There we go. It's not quite as dramatic as how Jessica looked, but I'd say like, yeah, top two, maybe three, like, you know, really, really sharp here. Really good. So we're going to do four and four probably. First call out, second call out, I would assume. I don't disagree with that at all. Corey on the far left, um, something about her, like, I really like her posing. I think her lower body conditioning is gonna, gonna hurt her here. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, if you've got to have Jessica and Osiris 1 and 2. So 59 and 66 trade place faces. Oh, we're just gonna get rid of you. That's weird. So 59, like, Raquel, they liked her for second? I did not. Like, third, sure. Um, yeah, so her conditioning is hurting her here. <laughs> also, 65, Sarah on the far right. Um, if I was coaching her and thinking, like, you know, they're, they're probably going to have her, like, seventh-ish or something like that based on what we're seeing here, I would have a conversation with her. Like, first of all, let's bring up your lats a little bit. Let's bring up your delts a little bit. And let's think about moving to physique because if you can get, if you can achieve that kind of conditioning, do it. Um, in figure, it's not necessarily an asset, however. So um, it's tough to hang up the heels for, for a lot of women. Um, from heels to barefoot, it's tough. But she's just got that density in her uh, in her physique. That's like in in women's physique, that would be an asset. Yeah, I think the way that they're positioned here is about right. Francis, it's like just the overall size of her frame, like the width of her clavicle is just <laughs> super impressive. Well, I like Raquel's physique. I just, I, I don't have her for a second here. I think Jessica's clearly first. I'd be shocked if not. 
Jessica's slightly soft glutes and hamstrings here on the back pose, just a little bit. I'd say maybe she's just a little off her game. She also did a show, she did Texas two weeks ago, um, and she won that show, like the open in that show, which it can be very difficult to hold your conditioning for two weeks, depending on how hard your prep was leading into that. All right, so comparisons for open. We have, um, I don't know, it looks like around 20 or maybe 22 or so in here. So some familiar faces that I've seen in the past handful of weeks here. There are some wild shapes happening there. Wild stuff going on the left half of the stage there, especially. I could really go with this music being turned down. Man, whew. I guess we got, what, 21? They're doing 777, something like that? Center there has some absolutely wild and ridiculous conditioning. I don't know who's who yet. Like she's a little small, but she's absolutely shredded. <laughs> so it looks to me, based on this, like we had a scratch or two. These were all in masters, so we've seen these before. Sarah Anthony jumped out at me in that first comparison group just for being like super, super lean in condition. Yeah, can we go in a little closer there, please? That is, um, that's what I'd call shrink wrapped. Um, like really, really good conditioning. From the, from the front, like awesome. From the back, she looks a little undersized. Like I'd like to see a little bit more thickness in the back. A little bit more gluten ham development there. Um, from the front though, it's like total package. Gabriella Consolmagno. Um, so she did New York back in May and was 10th. And then fast forward, she did Tupelo last week and was fourth. So big jump up there. Really good size. I think I made the comment in my commentary with Tupelo last week, like she's got a little bit more of like uh, a hint of wellness just because her lower body's a little bit dominant here. I suspected that maybe she was a former wellness competitor, but her upper body development was just taken off a little too much, so she went to figure instead. That was total speculation on my part. Yeah, yeah, really good, really good. I'll go with that pronunciation. Manon Dutili from Canada um, was the one that stood out in the, uh, yeah, that's not a shock, <laughs> in the comparisons as being the largest competitor in this group. Um, she's absolutely huge. The question is, is that going to play in her favor or not? Um, so that back pose is ridiculous. The front pose is insane. She is, I would say, probably not even borderline physique. She should be in physique. Um, so the judges are either going to eat that up and love it, or they're going to punish her for it. Um, so she did take third in Toronto. She won Vancouver and then dropped to sixth in Tampa at the start of the month. So it seems like, I, I feel like she's probably coming in pretty conditioned all the time. Um, so I think she's encountering a little bit of confusion from the judging panel. Like every pose that she hits is, is impressive as shit. The only question is... Is she a little oversized for figure? I would say probably yes, realistically. Um, I'm a fan of more size typically, but also like we have two divisions for size above figure. So I feel like she really kind of belongs in physique. This is Courtney Jacobs. Again, everybody's really bringing it so far in this open category. Good shape. Good size, good conditioning. Just a tiny little bit of shake. I tell you what, mad props, that's a great pose to everyone on here, just because some of those close up angles, man, like, you would not find me dead. Even in, uh, 
Even in contest shape, you would not find me dead in front of a camera that close. Nope. All right, Tennessee represent. Samantha Jenkins here. Good, good, good. Check out the quad separation there. Really good. Midsection definition, really tight. Rectus abdominis, obliques, serratus, they're all in there. I'd love to have her shoulders come up just a little bit. Her back looks good. Just, um, you know, I'd love a little bit more width through the lats, a little bit more delt. I'm kind of nitpicking, though. Just r really sharp. Really sharp presentation all around. This is Monique Mealy. This is almost a hometown show for her. So way back in April, she did the Triple O Pro Show, took eighth in that, and then in uh, Shreveport in May at the Optimum, took 12th there. Really full here. Good size. I want to comment on shape, but from this angle, I can't really tell. Yeah, shape's there. She kind of pinched her shoulders back to rob herself of some width there in that back pose. Little soft. This is Mandy Morgan. She was third in Texas two weeks ago. Yeah. There's all kinds of different, like I'd almost call them like subcategories within figure. Like if you think back to Menon Dutali, like just size, right? Then you've got some that are really bringing the conditioning. And then you've got somebody like Mandy here who is like really more shape focused. Um, Maybe a little on the smaller side, but just the shape is really good and the conditioning isn't shocking or anything like that, but it's appropriate. She's really kind of like, you know, if you rate if you rate those categories on a zero to ten, she's like a straight seven and a half across the board, but she's checking all the boxes. Like there's a really pleasing shape. So Katie O'Neill here. She did the Body B1 Pro show back in June, which I think is in Alabama, and took fifth in that. Um, so yeah, we did have a scratch. Um, there was a competitor from Iran who uh, we just skipped over who apparently did not make it. A really good presentation. Presentation, when I talk about that, it's like how you pose, you know, like hair, makeup, and figure matters a lot. How you carry yourself, smile, etc. That's where I fail completely because I just have the serial killer stare on stage all the time. Um, Karen Pacheco, Mexico. Some really, really sharp physiques in here. Yeah, that V taper, like tight waist, lats going out, shoulders kind of like stuck on. You know, I always tell people like you want to have like the Play-Doh shoulders that look like you just took some Play-Doh and just stuck them on there. In figure, that's what you want. Now on the back, what we want to see is, you know, we want to see that width, but can you bring a little bit of thickness, a little bit of depth, a little bit of three-dimensionality to the back pose? And I can't tell. And I'll never know, because that camera angle fucked me. I'd love to see just a tiny little bit tighter. Here we go. I'm going to butcher this completely. Bear with me. Sherezada Romero. Um... Man, I hate using the word package because, first of all, I think about a guy's junk whenever I say package, but she's got a great package, <laughs> like great overall package, really good overall presentation, really good, really sharp. I'm going to butcher this to V Sejuice. Um, yeah, so this is the one I commented in the earlier comparison rounds um, that was just absolutely shredded. You'll see it in the back pose. Like your strided glutes coming in. Yeah, again, a little bit more of like a classic figure shape. She's not huge. She's not oversized. Like if you put her against um, Menon from Canada, like you're going to see two totally different physiques. Now, I believe they said this is Marisol Tavazon, which means we, no, we did not miss anybody. Sorry, she was in Masters. So this, again, really impressive package, um, like very, very lean. Um, I wouldn't say undersized, just not oversized, like appropriately sized. Um, love to see a little bit more glute fullness in the back here, but like super, super conditioned. Like that level of conditioning is hard to get. 
Yeah, so we did have a scratch here. Apparently, Aksana Yukno um, did not make it. This would have been her fourth show of the year. She was on the competitors list, but did not make it. Okay, and apparently we're not doing uh, we're not doing uh, individual uh, quickies <laughs> for, for the masters competitors. Yeah, I don't have too many complaints about this. I don't think. Very curious to see what kind of moves they make here. Oh man, this is where I'm glad I'm not a judge. There's a, such a wide, wide range of physiques up here. It's like, what a pain in the ass to sort through this. Here comes the song and dance. So this is where as a judge, it gets hard because, and I don't have the answer for this. Uh, I'm one guy here wearing a microphone, putting up a video. Um, I don't even know that I really have a super strong opinion on this, but as a judge, what you've got to recognize is that for women, you have six categories and you want to throw some clear dividing lines up. And I think it's the responsibility of judges in general to do that. And so you look at someone like Manon, who is center left there, I think it clearly has like the most impressive developed physique on stage. Do you want her in figure or not? And this is where as a judge, you have the opportunity to say, no, you need to go up to physique realistically. But if they're going to have her first or second, then the message is like, okay, that's the standard that we start working towards. And then suddenly you've got everyone in figure trying to move towards that. And then everyone in figure starts to look more and more like physique. And then physique does what? They look the same or they just are barefoot figure or what? Like, I think there needs to be a little bit more delineation. Again, I'm not against a physique like that. It's just, is it figure? Well, it is because she's in heels, but you know. Like she kind of stands out in that lineup as being very different. Gabrielle on the far right also is, um, you know, she's clearly like quite a bit shorter, but she's kind of in that same conversation where she just looks, you know, is carrying that, like that kind of development as well. Raquel Clark uh, in the green, 59, who's leaving right now. Um, she was 15th in this show last year. And she's looking like top four now, which is quite a jump, quite an improvement in one year. Yeah, see Sarah on the far left there, like that, that pose on her looks absolutely batshit insane. Now, when she turns around into the back pose, it's not quite the same, but that front pose is just absolutely fucking ridiculous. It's still good though. Thank you. Reframe everything here a bit. Um, trying to remember some names here. Is that Courtney second from the left? Yeah. Um, she's looking great in this call out. This could be a first call out at pretty much any show just about. This group is great too, honestly. I mean, Everyone, everyone in this class is strong. I'm, I say that a lot. And part of it is like, you know, e here's the thing. Even at the pro level, I don't like to shit on anybody because everybody busts their ass to be up here. And so when I offer feedback and, and criticism, it's always intended to be constructive. I just like to generally be positive as well. But in this group, like this class, not just this call out, but this entire class, like everybody really is super strong top to bottom. Like from whoever takes first to whoever ends up, you know, not placing, like it's going to be some of the, the best, you know, did not place finishes that I can recall having seen in a while. Like just really impressive. Like, look at this, like five back poses here and they all look fucking ridiculous. Um, 
I get it's a pro show. It's not an amateur show, so you kind of expect that. But still, like even for a pro show, you get a lot of people show up who just, you know, they had a tricky prep, whatever. Maybe they should have pulled out of the show, but they didn't. They're up there anyway. Good. You did it. Awesome. Um, there's just none of that here. Like everybody brought it. Yeah, I mean, if this is the, the last call out for figure, like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, this looks amazing. Yeah, major props to, to all of them. I mean, I'm not one to hand out participation trophies. And, you know, clearly you don't want to be in a lower call out, but, like, there's no shame in being here. Like, this is a great, great freaking group. So I believe this is the last call out. Um, and again, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to kind of reiterate myself here again for being like a final call out, like dudes, give me a break. So let's just have a moment of appreciation here for, um, Francis on the far right and Monique next to her, just like, <laughs> just the, the shoulders on both of those, like wide clavicles, just like how stuck on everything looks, like really, really impressive. Sarah, second from the left, we've talked about her before, being like, you know, really super conditioned. That back post, she's not quite landing in it the way that I would expect her to. Um, man, she really brought the conditioning though. I always like to see that a little bit more rewarded. Once again, this music is terrible. Yeah, another good group. Take a second look at a couple more, I guess. Again, a couple of very, very different physiques. Let's just be clear, both of those physiques are absolutely nuts. And to be clear, like if Manon wins this, I'm totally cool with that. I have nothing against her, like personally, I think she belongs in physique. If she wins this class, I'm not going to complain about that. Um, like w when you have a physique that's built like that and it's, you know, borderline undeniable, it's like, <laughs> you just kind of have to take a minute to appreciate it. It's fine. Like the glutes are absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Super sharp. That's, that's going to do it. Now let everybody go eat a Pop-Tart. And well, thank you very much. I did go eat a Pop-Tart. Great suggestion from the commentator there. Uh, cherry is the best, by the way. Fight me on that one. So who did the judges like today? Well, in Masters, it was Jessica Reyes Padilla taking home first with Raquel Clark, second, and Osiris Trumpe in third. Personally, I liked Osiris for second here, but as always, Opinions are going to run the gamut. I always think it's interesting when all of the scorecards show unanimity among the judges. Like, no one has a different opinion until we get to around, like, the bottom of the top ten. Really? That's usually how it goes. And here in Masters, it was unanimous from one through eight all the way down. In Open, again, with no dissent until we get down to seventh place, uh, taking home the top prize was... Again, Jessica Reyes Padilla. She beat out Manon Dutali, who finished second. I made a big deal in my commentary about how these two definitely represented what I'd call different sects within figure, with Jessica representing a very modern look and Manon representing what might be the figure category of tomorrow if the judges don't start drawing some pretty clear boundaries here. I also kept mentioning that Manon should probably be in women's physique, and well, clearly she heard me because she'll actually be doing just that this weekend in the Europa Pro in London. Uh, going back to Jessica for a second, I don't know how much really needs to be said about her physique other than it rocks, and it's just about picture perfect for what the figure category should be. If you were to pick one person to follow as a blueprint for how to build out a winning figure package in 2024, you could do a lot worse than just to start with her. Coming in third and fourth here were Raquel Clark and Osiris Trumpe echoing their second and third place finishes in the Masters category. Rounding out the top five was Mandy Morgan. I mentioned her in the commentary that her shape was just killer. She's got that awesome figure silhouette and had great conditioning here on top of that and one of the tiniest waists you will see anywhere. The Olympia is closing fast, but there are still eight pro shows in figure between now and then.
I mean, you might have to go to London, South Korea, Poland, or Bulgaria to get to those shows, but they're out there, and those qualifying spots are still indeed up for grabs.